blood transfusion some of the indications of blood transfusion are blood loss blood disorders blood diseases poisoning and acute infections and shock some of the complications of blood transfusion are which are due to the mismatch transfusion where antibodies in the recipient serum attach or attached to the antigens of the donor's rbc this antigen antibody reaction leads to agglutination that is they form the clumps the rbc is first agglutinated and then undergo hemolysis the clumps of cells may block smaller blood vessels in the coronary pulmonary and renal circulation this may result in shock the hemolyzed rbc causes increase in the release of hemoglobin which gets metabolized to bilirubin and may lead to jaundice if the amount of hemoglobin in the renal tubules is sufficiently high the kidney failure can develop some of the complications which are not due to the mismatch blood transfusion there can be excess volume uh, transfusion which can lead to hypervolemia and as stored blood Uh, cells lose potassium to the external plasma hyperkalemia results or blood is stored using citrates and transfused blood contains enough citrates with the massive transfusion of citrated blood citrate removes calcium ions of recipient blood this results in hypocalcemia there can be chances of hemosiderosis which occurs because of the deposition deposition of excess uh, iron pyrogenic reactions like fever can occur allergic reactions and shock can occur because of the release cytokines and uh, can be transmission of diseases like aids malaria syphilis uh, when you are doing blood transfusion so hazards of blood tra- blood trans blood transfusion can be uh, due to the mismatch blood transfusion and due to the blood transfusion during uh, because of the mismatch blood transfusion the there can be immediate effect delayed effect immediate effects are hemolysis shock and renal failure whereas delayed effect is jaundice due to the uh, match blood transfusion there can be again immediate uh, manifestation or delayed manifestations immediate manifestations or complications are pyrogen uh, reaction shock coronary overload hyperkalemia and hypokalemia whereas delayed complications are transmission of the diseases and hemosiderosis blood storage for better long term preservation of blood and for transfusion purposes citrate is used in combination with dextrose in following for forms acid citrate dextrose that is acd solution uh, trisodium citrate citric acid and dextrose the the ph is 5.4 uh, where you have to add 10 volumes of blood to 1.5 volumes of the solution this is this form of the blood can be stored up to 21 days citrate phosphate dextrose adenine that is cpd a solution where you have sodium citrate citric acid dextrose and adenine ph is between 5.6 to 5.8 you have to add seven volumes of blood to one volume of solution this form of blood can be stored up to 35 days and dextrose acts, acts by liberating lactic acid which by decreasing ph helps in survival of rbcs both in vitro and and in vivo providing substrate for the metabolism which is required even at 4 degrees celsius and thus helps the survival of the cells so that is the function of dextrose changes which occur in the stored blood blood stored in the blood bank suffers some changes the there is a decrease in 23 dpg so there is increase in the affinity of hemoglobin to oxygen increase in potassium concentration in plasma so there there could be a chance of hyperkalemia in there is increase in the concentration of sodium in the rbc decrease viability of rbc so that they cannot work for longer time due to the decreased atp in them there is there might be decrease in the platelet count and there might there might be increase in the 